what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm za and today we are back with episode five of the society this one is called putting on the clothes last episode ended in a pretty intense way uh we saw sam reveal to the group that campbell is a psychopath like a, a real life psychopath not just saying that like he was actually diagnosed and um he told a story about how like he abused one of their pets when they were a kid and like that his family would never keep a gun in the house because of campbell and uh yeah i mean that's a terrifying thing to to realize just like you're trapped in a town with a psychopath who like doesn't feel the same emotions that we do so definitely gonna be a cause for concern i mean i feel like he already was kind of a a liability uh or just like a threat but now that we know that it's like okay i'm i'm gonna be uh very very cautious of this guy um from now on i've watched this show before probably right when it came out i forget when it came out but um i did some uh skimming through the episodes and i mean the main thing i remember is uh how much i do dislike campbell um i probably won't be good with the names the first couple episodes so you guys gotta cut me some slack but i'm really excited i love this like how the i love the plot of this show it just feels like back when i watched it, i was definitely younger than i am obviously but <laughs> definitely were it sounded like the idea sounded cool being alone in um a town which is all kids and like partying all the time that's that's where my head was at when i watched this so i just um i'm excited to get back refreshed on it i'm pretty sure i finished the season um i know there is only one but i am excited to uh be caught up in watching the show yeah last episode they picked ali to be their new leader since her sister cassandra got shot and killed i feel like she took it pretty well like i'd be terrified if i was her i think because you never know what people are going to do in this town right now like all these kids someone actually murdered cassandra like i said and we just don't know who it is and, pe and people definitely have more guns that they don't they didn't turn in and people don't know about so i'd just be wary i'm wondering what they're going to do with all the guns now that they have them i know they said they were going to i think burn them but then she's like nah i'm not doing that now so like i don't know it does feel a little weird for her to take all of them because then if her intentions aren't in the right space like that could go bad but people a lot of people seem to be believing in her and believing in this system so i hope it goes well but just uh, for the show's sake like i know it's not going to so yeah i'm wondering um like what's gonna go bad next and if anyone else is gonna get hurt all right guys so that is pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you have been liking the society reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe we are getting close to 200,000 subscribers so if you are not subbed yet please do so now we'd really appreciate it check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box and with all that being said we're gonna get right into the episode the society episode five putting on the clothes let's do it Allie. there you go <laughs> who's that Allie. yep what about her Allie. <laughs> coffee grizz. Grizz. grizz the goat i think i'm afraid to fall asleep there's this moment when i first wake up where i forget and then like it's happening all over again you get used to it or something there you go grizz like talk her through it yeah like what's that uh it's he gave her a, like a quote the other day and uh, i think that's who wrote the quote the boss now right gotta make sure you're safe if anything happens to grizz i'll be happy that this show got canceled L. Okay. There you go. I don't know them. I don't either. She's just like <laughs> she just like wants friends. She doesn't have friends. In one episode, she tried to hang out with a group of girls, and they were like, "We're busy," and they just wouldn't hang out with her. Is that a dog? Sure. Yeah, it is. I don't think we've seen. Have we seen animals? Yeah, dude. Right before Cassandra got shot, a dog came out of the. Oh, was it the same dog? Maybe. Maybe it's the bad luck dog. 
the cute dog. Maybe it's the death dog. The Grim Reaper dog. It could be. If she dies, 100% is a Grim Reaper. She got a friend. Let's go. Yeah. I'm scared for that dog. Discord is an epic nerd. Motherfucker could be capable of some crazy ass signs. Okay. <laughs> what a line. Yeah. Oh that was my. terrible. <laughs> that was bad. He's an epic nerd. Do they usually say stuff like that? Sometimes. He's probably <laughs> capable of some fucking yeah. crazy ass signs. Especially these yeah, side yeah. characters who we don't know. How do they weave it? Because he fucking shot someone. I mean, the way I look at it, they did us a favor. It's, they're a hero. Man, All right. The fuck are they a hero? That's his cousin. No. Cassandra was the problem, right? That's Campbell's cousin. Yeah. In Sam's. Someone had to teach that guy who was boss. Okay, can we give this guy a knuckle sandwich right now? I finally got you some peace and quiet like you wanted. Harry's face was crazy. Thank you. Did he do it? Did he just admit to doing it? Oh my. Do we know I'm him? My job and my He's just a weird, Dewey did. weird guy. Dewey. That's the first name drop. So it wasn't Harry. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, Dewey, Dewey. He basically confessed that he shot Cassandra. He well, literally just confessed. Dewey, like the short, pale kid that nobody talks to. Yes. <laughs> he looked pretty tall. Yeah, he didn't look that short. Yeah, I don't know where she got short from. Why would he tell you? Because he, he's the one who said something about... I I'm, didn't he say, like, I wish someone would just fucking kill her or something? Yeah. yeah. They were all talking that one night. He looks tired, bro. Mm -hmm. He's been up all... Day. Can I talk to you for a You'd be like, dude, you, all your work's been pointless, by the way, because <laughs> it was Dewey. Do you believe Harry? Look, it's going to sound weird, but I do. Like, when he came up to me, he seemed like really upset. It doesn't matter. We have to arrest Dewey. We're arresting him. The, go the guard. What do you mean arrest him? Like, go... Just go nab him off the street? Is yes. Will in the guard? No. Hell no. This is like the council or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a council. Could you handle something like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if we if we got up like ass early in the morning. Pre-dawn raid. Yeah, yeah, like a, like a pre-dawn raid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just took his... <laughs> just repeated it. Yeah. Should I give you some food? Why don't you cut your paw? Let's get you off like stop, hey? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, God. Yeah, that's why uh, not, I not not gonna want to keep a dog around this guy. I know this is your house. I, I should have asked. We, we don't have to keep him. It's all right. Maybe it's good for you to have a friend around. You don't fucking got any. <laughs> kind of looks like a kind of looks like a Charlie. Don't you think? Is that silly? Whatever you want. Hi, Charlie. Ah. Uh. Dude, I really want her to die now because of the dog. And it, that's, like, actually a thing that we said. Because, like... Wait, what? You want L to die because of the dog? Like, I think that'd be kind of cool if anyone who touched the dog died. Oh. Okay. Because he purposely just did not even touch that dog. I really, did Cassandra I, I, touch the dog? Yeah, she... It came up to her and she was petting it, like, Oh, how are you doing? And then it just ran away, and then... Oh, boom, boom. I don't want Elle to die. Like, I like her, but... I don't want the dog to die. I don't either. I slept in my arms. It's really pretty pretty dawn right now. It's pretty I know. dawn. Yeah, oh. man, it's like post-dawn right Can now. Can we just do this? What the Whoa. fuck is that? Whoa. Whoa. It's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this shit, okay. This weirdo shot someone, okay? We can't go in an arm. What, does Grizz have a crowbar? Yes, bro, relax. Clark? Yeah, it is Clark. You're right. Oh, they just said his name. Oh. Thought you had a really good guess. Let's just fucking do this, alright? Come on, follow me. I actually follow don't me. like most of this group. You like Luke? He's alright. He's okay. Grizz the only is one the I best. like is Grizz, I'd say. How are these dudes the guard, but they gotta do all this shit to get okay. one dude? Does, does he right think he'll shoot? I don't know. He said, does this look right, Grizz? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Jason, little help me. Come on. How oh, you try opening it? 
Didn't even try to open it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude. Wow, everyone's no, just No, this up. is the wrong way to go about this, I think. Yeah. Is that, is that you? Carla? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's not back there. Are you sure? Uh, no. What the fuck, man? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, they're not doing a very good job. This is, I mean, they're the guards, so what can you expect? Get out! Move! Fuck! Clark just pointing the gun at everybody is insane. You think there's a chance he just admitted it, that he did it, but didn't actually do it to get like Harry to like him? I don't know. Gun? Yo, yo, yo. Check it. Yo, yo, yo. Gun? Check it. Check it. He's in his whiteies. So he did it? I'm not convinced. It's too early. Better not fuck with the Lafitte mm. while he's in there. My dad's shit. Wine. I kind of like oh. it. Looks like a wine room. Is this like a meeting? Probably. They hold, they hold meetings in the churches all the time. I've always thought there was something weird about that kid. Really? I feel like I never really noticed him. Remember, eighth grade, he was Who's on the right? The middle school dance I don't know. Game. She's in the show, but I she's, don't know her name. She's not a very large character. She dates Clark, I'm pretty sure. Just eat it. We're part of lactose intolerant, don't you understand? Jesus Christ. Is that a real fucking thing? <laughs> Is that a real <laughs> thing? All right, so what are we supposed to do? What are you like, get him some pretzels or something? I don't know. Can I have a minute? Big dog has entered. <laughs> <laughs> Leave us. Gordy cool? Well, he was in love with Cassandra and he was just about to hook up with her. He's, he loved her. You come to work some nerd voodoo on me, Gordy? Kind of an asshole, Dewey. I don't know what's going to happen to you. Or how you'll be punished. Gordy's going demon mode right now. But you should be scared. Oh. <laughs> Why does the kid keep saying he didn't do it, though? Like, I don't understand. Did he do it? Mm. And he confessed to Harry. Should I sleep here again tonight? Is that annoying? I mean, you snore like a fucking snowblower. Do they like each other? She, she liked him in episode one, and he shut it down because he likes Kelly. And then she hooked up with Harry. It's a, it's a big love square right now. I'm not saying um, that I ever have, but if I ever pictured having a sleepover with you, this isn't exactly what I thought it would be like. Ooh. Damn. No, this is what I thought it would be like. <laughs> dude, he shuts her down uh, yeah, dude, so low. bad. He's standing on that. You are just my friend. Next time you want something, business hours, okay? Yeah, all right. Sorry, man. We should talk shit with Dewey, man. It's just stressing me out. Can't we just have an unlimited supply of pills? I, I know. I know how much I need. Hey, not so loud. What? What? You think we're going to get in trouble? But our parents can't fucking hear. No one can fucking hear us, man. <laughs> That's true, though. No one can hear you right now. I'm not a fucking child. Then don't act like one. Campbell's being responsible, kind of. He's just keeping Harry on that Harry. leash. At least now people will stop giving me that look. What look? Fucking... You killed Cassandra look. <laughs> oh, that one. If I had something to do with it, I'd be much more creative about it. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Not a funny joke. She has to be scared of him. You think I'm really capable of hurting someone? Yeah. You almost drowned her. I 
Now, what type of shit are you on? What is she doing? Do it. Oh, God. Is that Clark? Yep. I was waiting for you to wake up. Because, you know, it seemed weird to beat on someone while they're sleeping. Oh, shit. Hey, hey! Get off of me, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't think he's supposed to be doing this shit. Want to call for help? <laughs> Soundproof. Go for it. You do you. Help! Oh shit. Cassandra said they're taking care of him, and this isn't that. Cassandra's dead. Another try. Al. Ali said. Help! Help! Oh. Hey, do we? Tell me what you did to Cassandra. I didn't do anything! Oh. Wrong answer. You were like trying to grow facial hair or something back then, right? Is that... What yeah. is this diss? What? Weird little patchy pubes all over your stupid fucking face. <laughs> oh my oh god, god, Clark. Stop, please, stop, stop! Tell me what you did to Cassandra and I'll fucking stop! I didn't do anything! He didn't do it. I didn't do anything, I swear I didn't do it. He didn't do it. You can't just beat someone to try and get them to confess. That's why we're having a trial, to be fair. Oh, right. The trial? Yeah. Yeah. We both know that shit's just pretend for you. Oh my god, Clark. You're relieved of your duty, Clark. <laughs> You're off the guard. Would you guys be guard? No, dude. No. I don't think so. There was a there was one girl who was just locked in her house and wouldn't let anybody in, and I think that's who I would be. <laughs> Allie doesn't have what it takes to handle this shit. Uh oh. Keep people in line. You don't know that, Clark. Relax. So. Doubts with the new leader. Maybe one day they'll find him dead in a cell. <laughs> the threat. He's, he's become very strange this episode. All this murder talk got him horny. Yeah. Remember our first time? In summer we drove to the lake. My mom thought I was at gymnastics. Well, how... Yeah, what? He's going... Yeah, that, I, that's... That's new. Know. Isn't there a better time for a that's story? That's odd. <laughs> Was a quick trip down south there. <laughs> it was just getting a prime. <laughs> Yikes! Oh my god! Trial time. Dewey just gets up there and goes, "I demand trial by combat." <laughs> Gordy. Clark, Clark beats the fuck out of him again. Is there like a, whatchamacallit, what do they call the... Jury? Yeah. Yeah. All That's what people, we just saw. All the people sitting there. I was complaining about how crazy it was that we had to take care of everything. You know, everything was our decision. And she was like, really? Well, Alexander the Great conquered the whole world when he was our age, which was kind of annoying of her. What is this little speech about? Oh, that's classic Cassandra. <laughs> so relatable. This is the trial of Greg Dewey, Greg who Dewey. was accused of the murder of Cassandra Pressman, the night of June 23rd. Gordy will be the prosecutor. Oh, add lawyer to Gordy's list of jobs. And at the end of the trial, you'll decide if he's guilty or not. Everyone got it? <laughs> what if he is guilty? Yeah, I don't know. Let's lock him up again? <laughs> Bang. Kill him. Execution. This is the gun that was found when the guard raided Dewey's house. The you know, guard. Two bullets missing from the clip. I mean, it just so obviously could have been planted in his room. You didn't search every house. Right? And 
even the houses you searched, they could have been hiding the gun they used. That would make sense, wouldn't it? It would be a big coincidence. Why don't they call up Harry as a witness and say, hey, yeah, he told me he did it. <laughs> yeah. You arrest him, you beat him up. It's not relevant. It's not relevant how the people in charge of this prosecution behave? It was a mistake. It has nothing to do with whether he's guilty or not. It's... Move on. I feel like this isn't how a judge is supposed to be interacting with uh -uh. the lawyers. I mean, this is not proper. You don't think? Uh-uh. <laughs> we were just talking. Here we go. Shit, whatever. And he basically just came out and said it. He killed her. You <laughs> dude. Do we sit down or I will have the guard remove you? Stop. He had this creepy smile. <laughs> you should thank me. Confess. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, he keeps using this word basically or pretty much. Like, did he confess or not, brother? It seemed like he, he confessed. He, he, it sounded like he confessed without actually confessing. Why would he confess to you? Admit it, Harry. Tell the truth. He thought it would make me happy. Ooh. Make you happy? That Cassandra was dead. Why would he think that? We talked about I don't it? I know. I mean, he's going to come up and say it. <laughs> I mean, you... You can't say, I think... I guess because he thought we were rivals in high school. Why what? should we believe you? You what? say What's that even Dewey mean? confessed to you. Harry confessed. and Dewey were rivals? I think Harry and Cassandra. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, I got that confused. I want to hear Dewey's. And we don't get to? Uh, oh, they're not here. Uh, who's Charlie? The dog. Oh, the dog. Yeah. We're having him for dinner tonight. Campbell definitely could have killed it. Maybe you left the back door open. No, I, I, I checked. Why is he washing his hands so fucking locked. thoroughly? Did you check under the bed? Or is he doing dishes? Oh. Uh... Oh. Fingernails. Looks okay. like blood. I'm sorry. I, I know how much the dog meant to you. I mean, can she not see how fucked up he is? Yeah, but he's like all she has. I'm a little worried if she does get a friend, what the hell he would do if he gets jealous. Why did you do it? Who helped you? I don't think you'll be so smug when I pronounce your punishment. Oh shit, what does that mean? And then it'll be too late. <laughs> she gonna get a fucking executed, killed? Bro. You gonna sentence me? To what, life in a wine cellar? No, sir. I don't think that's what you should be afraid of. Oh. Are you gonna kill me? You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rules. Better start talking, buddy. What do you want me to say? Please tell me what you just want me to say. I'm so thrown off. Like, did he actually do it? I don't think he did it, but I do think that he might have known more. Because he's just not doing a very good job at defending himself other than saying, Fuck you, I didn't do shit. Do you have a verdict? I mean, it looks like he really is. Guilty. We find him guilty. She does just have too much bias in this case. She should not be the, the judge. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, she didn't want to be the leader. They fucking forced her to do it. What's the verdict? Or what's the punishment? Guards, will you take him back to his cell? Um, everyone, we can all go home. Yep. I was going to say, something's going to happen. If he wants to rest, just let him go. Why doesn't he just scream it? Like, why'd he whisper it? I don't know. Everyone, can you come back and sit? <laughs> or just stand, just wait, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> nope, everybody sit down. 
Someone's getting thrown under the bus. Probably Campbell and Harry. He tries to make himself look like this m yeah. mean man. Yeah, he does. Cassandra the fucking bitch. Okay. <laughs> so is her sister and her black boyfriend that makes all the rules. Whoa. What was that about? I think, I mean, is he just not guilty? Let him say what he thinks. You mean? So are all the women here. <laughs> Fucking bitches who won't give us the time of day who think we owe them Okay. Everything. I don't even care if he's guilty now. Let's just I fucking kill him. Because she had it coming. Because the night of prom, we were all in Harry's house, and he said he wished she was dead. Okay, so he killed her. And everybody who hated that bitch knows that fucking bullshit. And Campbell helped me plan it. Oh. Alright, he's obviously a fucking liar. I'm not, I'm not fucking listening to this anymore. Stop him. Stop him. Campbell, get back to your seat. Huh? Sit down, Campbell. Get the fuck out of my face. No, sit down, man. Now you know. And he just killed a dog. What do you want us to do? I mean, he didn't have, like, I mean, Harry said that, like, he didn't, like... Arrest him. Oh, arrest Campbell. I feel like Dewey didn't Dude, have to kill him because Harry said that. I think, I think Dewey is not capping. But if Harry didn't help plan and only Campbell did, I don't think Harry should be guilty for just saying, I mean, like... That's, they're only taking Campbell away. Yeah. Because, like, that's, that, like, that, a the figure whole, of speech. The whole Harry th him saying that Harry said that is what makes me think that... He's telling the truth because Harry did say that. Yeah. So why would he lie about one thing but then tell the truth about something else? And why would he, after being proven guilty, why would he go, I fucking killed her. Like, I think he did it. And I think he's telling the truth. I just uh, don't know what's going to happen with them. Yeah, I, th I thought he was telling the truth when he said, you should thank me. It just felt like, uh, why would you say that? That was weird. Like, it was a little private conversation. Um, probably didn't think Harry was going to go and tattle. But, I mean, when people say, like, I wish she was dead, like, sometimes it's just, like, a figure of speech. Not a good thing to say, but I, he probably didn't think Dewey was going to go ahead and take it literally and kill uh, Cassandra. So The only thing, though, that I think that looks bad on Harry is that they literally asked him when he was like up on trial like, yeah why would dewey do this and he went i don't know I, I don't know like he obviously didn't want people to know that he said that i feel like it would look a lot better on him if he was the one who was like i said this shit and he probably took it literally rather than dewey being the one to spill the beans i think it's bad though that campbell got arrested because well like i don't think it's bad but i think the fact that harry got left out of that and he's like free still they're making it a big thing that like he's getting drugs from campbell so if he doesn't have campbell to do that i feel like he's gonna go crazy plus there's no way ali's gonna like him at all anymore um even without it being confirmed just like the dude told the truth about everything else so like you can only imagine that's true that he said he wants cassandra dead which he did and then the, the look that Kelly just gave him, like, she's not fucking with him anymore. So he's going to have, like, no one. But, yeah, I mean, I'm happy Campbell's arrested. I'm a little worried that, like, his followers or people that like him will try to break him out or something like that. Or someone will get him out. Um, but I think it's good for L because we saw this episode. He's still just fucking crazy with her. Kill I think he killed the dog. Like, it's pretty safe to say he killed that dog, which is just horrible for so many reasons but i wouldn't be surprised though if like he somehow convinced l to help him get out just i feel like he's so manipulative with her um that that could definitely happen uh, maybe next episode all right guys so that is it for this episode if you have been liking the society reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box and with all that being said We'll see you guys next time in the Society, Episode 6. Peace out.